Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into an essential topic for digital artists, the differences between pen displays, pen tablets, and standalone tablets. If you're looking to upgrade your gear or just starting out, this video will help you make the best choice for your artistic needs. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about pen displays. Think of a pen display as a high-tech monitor that you can draw directly on. It connects to your computer and acts as both a screen and a drawing surface. One of the biggest advantages of a pen display is the direct drawing experience. You're able to see your artwork in real time as you create it, making it feel very natural and intuitive, just like traditional drawing. Plus, since it's connected to your computer, you have full access to desktop software like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and CorelDRAW. This is perfect for professional artists who rely on these powerful tools. However, there are some downsides. Pen displays can be quite expensive, especially with larger screens and high resolutions. Also, they require a connection to a computer, which might limit your workspace and mobility. Next, let's look at pen tablets. These are often referred to as graphics tablets. Unlike pen displays, pen tablets don't have a screen. Instead, you draw on the tablet and it controls the cursor on your computer monitor. The main advantage here is affordability. Pen tablets are generally much less expensive than pen displays. They're also portable and easy to carry around. You still get to use all the desktop software you love, which is a big plus. However, it can be a bit less intuitive since you're drawing on one surface while looking at another. It might take some time to adjust to this hand-eye coordination. And now, let's move on to standalone tablets. These are all-in-one devices, like the iPad Pro. They combine the drawing surface and the computer into a single portable device. The biggest advantages here are portability and convenience. You can draw directly on the screen, which feels very natural, and you can take your tablet anywhere without needing a computer. Standalone tablets also come with a range of powerful drawing apps like Procreate and Adobe Fresco, which are optimized for mobile use. However, they can be pricey, and while many apps are feature-rich, you might miss out on some of the desktop software capabilities. So, how do you decide which device is right for you? Here are some tips to consider. 1. Budget. Pen tablets are the most affordable, followed by pen displays and standalone tablets. Choose what fits your financial plan. 2. Portability. If you need a device that you can easily take on the go, a standalone tablet is ideal. Pen tablets are also portable but require a computer connection, while pen displays are best suited for a dedicated workspace. 3. Software requirements. Need access to full desktop software? Go for a pen display or pen tablet. If mobile apps are enough, a standalone tablet could be a great fit. 4. Drawing experience. For the most intuitive drawing experience, a pen display or standalone tablet is the way to go. If you don't mind adjusting to a different drawing setup, a pen tablet is a solid choice. I hope this video helps you decide which device is right for you. If you have any questions or need more detailed reviews, check out the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.